Hi everybody, my name is Jana and I am happy to present you a very very short video, I believe it would not be longer than 3-4 minutes regarding um, calculating of um, uh, number of stitches in rows while you uh, knit uh, sideways while you do sideways knitting. Uh, there is a, some difference between knitting a bottom up and sideways because of structure of fabric is different and stretchiness of fabric is different. For very few days ago I uh, recorded a video and uh, uploaded to YouTube when in this video I talk about uh, calculating of ease while you do your uh, machine knitting but all this calculation um, will work for bottom up knitting but this calculation basically does not work for uh, sideways knitting i tried it but it really does not uh, for some reasons i tried several times and make several mistakes when um, I made garment which is uh, larger when I underestimate stretchiness of the fabric. And probably everybody try who knitted sideways had this problem before. What I find out, I usually make swatches each time before I'm uh, knitting my uh, garment. Probably everybody do this way. And I measure my swatch uh, and calculate number of stitches and number of rows. But when I do swatches for sideways knitting, uh, the uh, measuring of uh, length and width of the swatch is not is not um, is not enough. You have to assess stretchiness of the fabric. Um, when I measure length of the fabric, so I stretch it slightly, pretty gently, without agitation, uh, and measure length of the fabric after after I stretch that. And this way it works much better for me when I um, calculate uh, my sideways pattern. I just would like to show you how I do it. I just stretch it, but, but I stretch it pretty gently. Um, it's pretty hard to explain how to do it. You should not use any agitation or too much force while you stretch fabric like I'm doing now, otherwise you will get the wrong results. But you have to somehow stretch it, because of when you will do your garment, when you will finish your garment, if you uh, knit sideways, so all structure of the fabric will make it more stretchy than probably you expect to. At least it's my way to do it and it's work for me. and. Probably you should try and see, probably it will work for you as well. And of course, I would be happy to receive feedback. And uh, if you ever try to do it, uh, I would be happy if you write in comments, uh, how will it work for you. And otherwise, if you have another way to do it, I will be really happy if you will share it with me. Probably I will adopt it because of, I still, it's still pretty difficult to, calculate uh, pattern uh, while I'm knitting sideways. And basically it was all what I wanted to say in this video. It was really short video and I'm really happy that you uh, watch this video and I hope you will come again. And if you like it, I would be happy if you push a like button. And thank you very much for watching. It was Jana. Bye.